Hello and welcome back to my channel. Today we're going to review uh, another perfume from Zara which is called the Golden Decade and um, this is uh, from the new collection chapter 3 uh, from Zara and uh, also I'm going to compare it side by side with um, Libre by Yves Saint Laurent. Uh, so this perfume is supposed to be a dupe we're going to find out if it's a dupe for this perfume or not so keep watching if you want to know and if you like this type of content don't forget to press like and also um, don't forget to subscribe if you want to get more reviews about perfumes and other things as well from me so anyway let's start i just started um, i just sprayed myself with both of these perfumes and I'll be sniffing them here in the background, the famous uh, sniffing noises. And uh, um, but let me uh, first g give you the notes for this perfume. Uh, it is um, supposed to be vanilla, jasmine, bergamot, lavender. For me, the, the lavender is not listed here, but for me, it has lavender. Uh, so, yeah, there's not many notes, notes listed, but um, I can say that uh, yeah, it's pretty accurate. And um, first of all, let's compare it quickly with Libra, because some people say that this is a dupe for Libra Intense or just Libra. So I don't have Libra Intense. Um, and you know the color maybe suggests that it could be Libra Intense because the color is dark whereas the Libra um, normal Libra is a lighter color and the intense one is the dark color so from the color yes but um, I would say that from the scent um, actually I would say that it is very very similar to the uh, Libra actually only in the um, initial spray in the opening I would say the original Libra is slightly more sparkling more citrusy whereas this one is more flat it's not that sparkling <laughs> it is let me just actually spray it again um, but yeah actually I don't even have to spray it again but let's do it um, oops um, yeah so it's just this one starts a little bit lighter a little bit more citrusy whereas this one just goes kind of straight into that um, vanilla type of jasmine, bergamot, lavender. I wouldn't say this one has um, a, as bright opening. It has more of a lower, <laughs> flatter type of opening, but it does mean it's obviously worse. It just means it's not as sparkling, but pretty much the dry down, I would say it's, yeah, I would say 90% let me just keep on spraying yeah just I would say this is a 90% pretty much the same fragrance unless there is something about the Libra Intense that would tip it over towards Libra Intense but I don't know it's the Libra Intense it's supposed to have um, more of a honey but here I don't really smell honey it's it is sweet but it's not I wouldn't say there is honey in there but maybe it's just me but overall uh, Libra aside if it's a dupe or not I would say it is a very close one and um, uh, aside from that this perfume is really great and it has 
uh, a phenomenal longevity as well and also um, a projection intensity so I wouldn't spray it more than three sprays and bearing in mind that I'm an over sprayer so I love to spray um, a lot but this one is very very dense and intense <laughs> so uh, three sprays I think it's enough unless you want to um, you know scare some friends you don't like anymore <laughs> then uh, go for it but um, yeah, three sprays I think is definitely enough for daytime, maybe for evening. If you're wearing this for the evening, then maybe more. But um, yeah, actually, this perfume, I would again wear this for daytime or evening. Um, maybe not for a clubbing, not for a party. This is maybe not a seduction type of perfume, but uh, I would say this is a day to evening perfume. So, yeah, for me, definitely lunchtime, daytime and evening as well with maybe like a dinner rather than clubbing. So, um, yeah, I absolutely love this one. Um, it's uh, super long lasting. It lasts um, eight hours. It lasts on clothes as well. So yeah, it's amazing longevity and also amazing price tag. Obviously, it's very affordable. This one is um, $17.99 here in the UK, whereas the Libra, I'm not sure, but I think it could be around 80 or something. I don't remember, but but yeah, much more. So yeah, this one definitely is a good alternative or if you already have a Libra and you love it, you can get this one as a kind of a backup if you just want to still have this fragrance, but maybe on a day when you're not super glamorous, maybe you wanna save this one for a special day or something. I don't know, but yeah, definitely it's a great, fantastic perfume on its own, even if you're not really into dupes or you don't care about dupes, um, then yeah, definitely we recommend this one. And um, yeah, I'm, I might be getting some more of the uh, other perfumes from this uh, chapter three from Zara, because um, they are so good that I think it would be silly not to get them, especially at this type of price. And um, if you haven't seen my other reviews for these perfumes, especially Rose Gourmand and Red Temptation and Sublime Epoque, then you can see them um, on my channel as well, if that interests you. I recommend all of them. And um, yeah, that's it for today. Don't forget to give this video a thumbs up, subscribe to my channel, it really helps my channel to grow and uh, thank you so much for watching and I'll see you very soon. Bye!